So girls, how are you doing? Let's do a big card and today it's going to be what's next, so that could be interesting, hopefully. Uh, it could be about your uh, private life, it could be about business, it can be anything that you, uh, you know, you're about to experience really. So let's go, let's see. One, two, one, two. Part number one, what's next? Death. Um, the uh, Eight of Pentacles and the Lover. So it sounds all very dramatic, but it's a very good card. Death is a rebirth. So yes, indeed. What's next is transformation. It's uh, not going to be like it used to be. It's a, it could be a liberation, a breakthrough, uh, a better understanding of yourself. It's like you decide something has to go. The vision of myself or perception of myself that for myself or from other people point of view, it's transforming so it's not going to be like it used to be now we're going to move to the next level absolutely and for that where well, we have an idea of a rebuilding but also learning new skills maybe because you're moving uh, to a different department you are now changing job you're learning the way the company is actually um, functioning and that's all good you also may be teaching other people what you do how you do it and that could be very interesting but it could also be a reverse uh, link to a relationship, meaning that we work on the relationship. We're going to try to make it better because we realize this number eight is an infinity number. There's no ending to our uh, relationship and we want to make it better, beautiful. Because what you realize maybe now is that instead of just being lovers in the sense of a physicality, you are partnerships, you have, in a, you have a partnership, here we go, or you are actually are soulmates, and that's why you uh, appreciate now. Maybe it started very basic, a bit physicality, all of that, uh, blah, blah, boom kind of things, as you can imagine, and then you develop into something different. It's not like as simple as we thought, it's not just like we thought at the beginning, something transformed and so when you have a rebirth it's definitely it's not a change it's a transformation it's a rebirth it's not the same like it used to be so maybe you had that in mind for a while and you were hoping that person would come to that conclusion and maybe here we go you receive the fruit of your labor or vice versa it can always be reverse as you know so you receive the fruit of your labor you also someone who even though you went through a lot of uh, break um, working a uh, relationship or you know did you know I'm, can i speak today sunday forget it um but you know you went through a lot of um difficulties in your life but it doesn't matter you always kept that hope you always kept that um generosity of the heart i know something uh, beautiful is coming i know there are amazing people out there it doesn't matter if i went through some difficulties i learned i grew I found out about myself and I became maybe hopefully a better version of myself. Beautiful. Okay. So that, in my opinion, is that, that transformation that's going to bring you a satisfaction. And that is absolutely beautiful. And maybe you knew that was going to happen. You know, you had that feeling, but now you have the confirmation. And also maybe if it's a work uh, promotion and you're going to have uh, dinero, you're going to be paid, you have that promotion, you have the acknowledgement from your the, the management that you are phenomenal, okay? Beautiful. So transformation, that is what's next and for the better. Gorgeous. Part number two, what's next? Yeah. Five of Wands, the Star, and the Two of Swords. Right, okay, interesting. Yeah, the Five of Wands is always a bit interesting, you know? Is confrontation, is a misunderstanding, it may be a bunch of people who have nothing else to do but to gossip. That's what they do day in, day out, they, they, oh my god, they spend so much energy gossiping. Um, but very negative as well, so maybe at some point you went through some uh, argument with them, or you now decided, you know what, I'm blocking my heart, I just don't want to uh, entertain this kind of, uh, you know, vibe, so I'm, I'm closing my heart, I don't want to feel it, and I don't want to see it, okay? But sometimes when we do that, it could be someone who was uh, very attracted to you because the ones is very, you know, uh, physical, a lot of fire, but they couldn't open their heart, for example. But we have a bit of a moon here, which is an uh, introspection. So through this, maybe they're going to develop and understand themselves a bit better. At the end of the day, they see you as a star. And maybe they explain that some people are jealous and gossip about you, the bunch of, you know, crabs or you know in a bucket they did yeah, yeah, yeah. because they see you beautiful amazing uh, successful you you you're working really hard but you succeed and you keep your emotion very balanced you have those two jar 
and it's all about balancing the water and the liquid is all about emotion in tarot and in metamorphic technique as well by the way uh, anyhow so what's happening here that you had to protect your heart block them but at the same time balance and you found that balance okay also you could have a choice uh, meaning that i stay with the crabs or i go or i go on my own and i do my own thing because why would i bother with those people you know it's a negative 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 so indeed let's have more information yeah we're finishing a cycle of life here so what's next is that yes you're going to be the center of att attention yes you are the star after all absolutely you're going to be like people are going to look up to you um doesn't really matter for you because you know who you are you don't take yourself too seriously uh, but you could have a lot of admirers online and seeing like that a lot of communication as well online but at the same time you're entering a new uh episode or a new chapter in your life and you might be traveling and maybe you want to really break from those people and you decide that protecting my heart is not enough i need to move away from them at the end of the day, wherever you go, you will keep shining. And they will be seeing you shining even brighter. But you know what? Too late. On this note, have a beautiful day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Ciao.